So we are going to start and okay. start our lesson. Okay, we are recording. Hello, how are you? I'm Marcati Ortega. I am your teacher. I am your teacher. Let's say so. Okay. <laughs> I'm doing well, Kathy. <laughs> okay. Um, please tell me what day is it today, Lucia? A very, very easy question. Uh, uh, Tuesday. Today is Tuesday. I, I don't really remember. Tuesday. You don't remember the date? <laughs> yeah. What's, I'm, I'm what's left for me that I am 55 years old if you don't know? What's the date of today? <laughs> Do you know what's the date? Era? Yes, I know. Uh, but it's quite easy to forget the date in nowadays yeah. because it seems, at, at least in my case, it seems that every day has the same thing. That's because right. I'm not working. Now yeah. I have a milestone in the week that is your class. <laughs> <laughs> Today is uh, Thursday, May the 29th. Very good. Very good. Today is Tuesday, May the 29th. Very good. Hello, Hello my dear Kathy. Sophia. Hi, Kathy. How Sorry are I was you? late, but I like it um, and unlocked me. I mean, I and I had to enter again uh, to Zoom, and I didn't remember the password because it's always. But so you didn't I didn't ask me. You should write down. Me. Yes, you should write down yes. somewhere and paste it. You know, paste it somewhere like pin pin somewhere. The password and the 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 ID are is going yes, to be the always. same. Yes, always. So. Always. Good. <laughs> remember that the Zoom is going to ask you to update something, right? In some, in some maybe, I don't know exactly when, but I know that it's up to the 30th of May, okay? That is the deadline, okay? You need to update, okay? It's no issue at all. It's very easy, but pay attention because they give you a lot of things to update, okay? They give you a lot of options to update and you don't need to update anything but the first one, the very first one, only the first option that you have to update is the one you need to do so okay do you remember the the title of that kathy no, no. okay no, but i one. know that is the first one only the first one i i think it's something general something that you can see that is a general you know thing about zoom okay and the others options are more specific right so if you want to wear a hat while working, I don't know, no, no, not that. But it's more like specific, right? And the first one is very general. Only that one you need to update, okay? Okay. Okay, today I, I wanted to have a very nice lesson because I feel that our last lessons have been a bit boring. Okay, and I don't want you to feel, you know, that these lessons are not useful, are not uh, giving you something new, something, you know, that you can uh, take account for, okay? I need uh, you to feel that these lessons really are really worth it, okay? The time that you're spending here are really worth it so uh, in my opinion the most important is to use the best english possible right so as you can see i am using some structures and some words that are a little bit fancier than before okay because i want 
to stretch, to stretch a little bit, you know, ourselves and grow with our English skills, okay? Okay, so my first question was, what well, was the date? Because I am recording and I want the uh, other classmates to know uh, when is this, you know, video uh, being recorded, okay? Okay, my dear. So, um, Sophia, is there anything important or uh, something that you need to tell me? Like, for example, maybe something related to a homework or something that you need to tell me? No, uh, I don't think so. I mean, we had the, I think it was at uh, the beginning of the week we had uh well it was tomorrow, uh, yesterday we had a um, normal lesson by me and um yes it was like a more um more interactive yes but we were three for by like she did a um, more um, a structured. No, como grupos más más reducidos. Like okay. she worked in, in in a smaller groups. You know, she coordinated, so organized, she okay. us, uh, like more individually. Okay, so to work with you yeah. in a, in yes, a we particular way. Yes. With with uh, uh, Maricel, right? Yes, uh, like we um, review all um, the six uh, units that oh. we did um, the oh. term, and yes, uh, we review all the the, uh, the units, the structures, the vocabulary, the grammar. Or, or the context or topics. And how long did that lesson take? Um, like uh, more or less uh, 45 minutes, I think. Uh, it was by meat or by yes. team? By meat, okay. By meat. They are using meat now, not Zoom. Yes, uh -huh. every teacher. <laughs> yeah, all the teachers switched to meet. Yes. It's a good, it's a good interface, it's a good application. Yes, the meet. Do you know yes, that, Graciela? It, meet? Uh, it's the one that uh, announced Gmail, maybe? Yeah, I think it's Google type, classroom, Google classroom yes, related. Yes. Uh -huh. But and it's a hundred times better uh, platform uh, Zoom than Meet. I I prefer Zoom. Why do you prefer Zoom? Because uh, it um, like uh, Meet is uh, well the um, like uh, the picture I, the screen. The screen. It's always uh, it's um, less. Dynamic. Yes, and also uh, the quality of the screen is worse than oh. a lot worse than. Yes, I think that Zoom is the best. Of course, yes, it, yes, yeah. yes. And now this updating that they are doing is, uh, you know, uh, somehow is a response of the, of course, uh, very understandable complaint of the customers related to the security okay mm -hmm. yes so it's a uh, cifrado they say cifrado both sides i don't know how to say cifrado sorry but my dogs are playing outside and they are making a lot of noise please chat among yourselves just 30 seconds i'm going to lock my my dear dogs, okay? Chat, chat among yourselves. Yeah, yeah. Um. 
So, were you talking or you were silent? I, <laughs> so, I was looking for some words that I couldn't remember. Which words? <laughs> well, no, no, stupid words, uh, actions. Actions, uh, because when you talk about Zoom, I remember about the news I heard today morning in the news that actions from Zoom grow a lot uh, it's price nowadays, much more than the best airlines, the seven airlines in the world. Oh, yes, of course, of course, yes, definitely. And I knew, I don't know if it's true, but the, the, the owners of the Zoom, the company, are not that old, they are like young. They are very young, in, you know. In fact, um, now they are millionaires. <laughs> they were good, they were doing good, you know, but now they are millionaires. <laughs> they became yes. millionaires. <laughs> On the night of the day. <laughs> yes, yes. The first uh, time I heard about Zoom was because of you, Kathy. <laughs> yes, yes, and, and I, I have to thank Pasquale Cangiano because he ah. was he was the one he was the one who told me the two things he said Kathy make uh, create a Facebook group okay and make the Facebook group a place to gather people and talk using the zoom so he joined the two things so that's why I wanted to call it chat box because you know a chat chat a chat boxer is someone who doesn't stop talking you know oh. that is yes a chat yeah that is a, someone who is always talkative talkative okay and sometimes it's even uh, not good right because it's too much too much talking but um the chat box well okay the chat box is also the place for the comments so I joined those, you know, images in my mind. I said, okay, Kanguro English chat box. And then it was changing and, and ended in the chat box. Right. Mm -hmm. Yes, chat box. yes, yes. Yeah. Okay. Okay, my dear, my dear, my dears. Lucia, Sofia, and Graciela. Okay. Very good. I want to start by sharing with you uh, you know, it's, it's a channel, it's a YouTube channel for children, okay? I, you know, I crossed, I, I, I came across, I came across this channel while searching for something for my children, okay? And I found this, I think it's a treasure. You, you are going to tell me, okay? But I, I think it's a treasure. Okay, let me share with you. This is not, this is it. Okay, uh, let me share, compartir de la doctora. Okay, okay, the place is called, the place is in Spanish, Aprendizaje Inteligente para Todos. I don't know why is that in I mean, I don't know why that is in, in Spanish, but Aprendizaje Inteligente para Todos, okay? And this is the name that I found. Uh, Aum 
soon. And they say, um, soon. Um, soon. Um, soon. It's like awesome, okay? But they say, um, soon. Something like that, okay? Look, it's here. I, I wrote um, soon and I got that, okay? It's a five minutes, five minutes uh, video. The topic is what if, what if, what if social distancing is made permanent worldwide, okay? This is a series of what if, okay? What if there is no more schools? What if, whatever, okay? It's a what if, what if, okay? I hope you like it. It's Umsum time! What if social huh? distancing is made permanent worldwide? Permanent? No ways! I'm ready to join the pro- Are you listening and watching? Yes. All yes. of you? Yes. yes. Okay. Protests! Wow, Umsum! Social distancing oh. is deliberately increasing the physical space between people to avoid mm. spreading illness. If social distancing was made permanent worldwide, firstly, social distancing and dating do not go well together. The way people date will change forever. Mm. Secondly, social distancing huh? will change the way games like football, rugby, cricket, etc. are played. Players will need to attend coaching classes all over again. Mm. Thirdly, more and more cameras will be installed in public places to enforce social distancing. Privacy will take a back seat. <laughs> Lastly, rock concerts, marathons, festivals will have to issue new guidelines to remain within the gambit of law. But on the flip side, with social distancing enforced, contagious diseases may soon fade away worldwide. Mm. What if face masks were made compulsory? Then I will change my profession. I will become a face mask designer. Wow, Umsum. With everybody wearing face masks, contagious diseases may soon fade away worldwide. Mm. But on the flip side, firstly, face mask factories will start popping up all around the world. Secondly, face masks will slowly become a fashion accessory. People will start wearing designer face masks. Thirdly, with face masks compulsory, lipstick and lip balm industry will probably face gloomy times. Mm. Fourthly, dating with face masks will probably be awkward to start with, but people will slowly but surely get used to it. Lastly, with face masks compulsory and beards and mustaches no longer mm. visible, men will probably stop caring whether to shave or not. On a serious note, People will have to clean their face masks regularly, else the entire process will be <laughs> futile. Mm. Huh? What if all grocery stores closed? Then I will open my Umsum grocery stores worldwide. Wow, Umsum. A grocery store is a retail shop that primarily sells food which is either fresh or preserved. Mm. Large grocery stores also sell non-food items such as clothing and household goods. Mm. If all grocery stores were to close, firstly, online shopping of grocery items will get a big boost. Mm. E-commerce companies will be extremely happy. <laughs> Secondly, just like old times, people might start visiting and buying from farmers directly to meet their daily needs. This might prove to be good news for farmers. Mm. Thirdly, people might start hoarding items needed in day-to-day -day life as they might not be easily available. Mm. Lastly, economy yeah. might suffer a lot. Mm. There are more than 40,000 grocery stores in the U.S. Their collective business is more than $600 billion. Mm. What if everybody started living underground? Then I will start a whole digging company and earn a lot of money. <laughs> wow, Umsum. Firstly, nature will quickly reclaim its rightful place. Trees and bushes will start shooting out of buildings and factories. <laughs> Animals living on land will be one happy lot. Secondly, one-time cost of building homes and roads underground will be extremely high. Thirdly, 
getting enough oxygen <laughs> underground for everybody will be a huge challenge. Fourthly, tsunamis and storms will not bother us anymore. But earthquakes and volcanoes might pose a bigger threat. Fifthly, air conditioners will be in huge demand <laughs> as there will be very little wind underground. Mm. Also, we will be unwelcome guests as we will be trespassing the territory of snakes, earthworms, and ants. Lastly, people will really start to miss sunrise, sunset, rain, as well as clear skies. Mm. What if humans suddenly disappeared? I am not human. I will always be there. Oh, I'm some. <laughs> Firstly, all the animals on the planet will be one happy lot. They will surely have one great after party. Secondly, global warming will be a thing of the past. Global temperatures will slowly but surely return to pre-industrial revolution levels. Thirdly, domesticated animals all around the world will be sad as days of free food will definitely be over. Fourthly, nature will reclaim its rightful place. Trees and bushes will start shooting out of buildings, factories, and bridges. Fifthly, although plastic might stick around for a long amount of time, stock markets will drop to zero. GDP will not matter anymore. Money will just be another piece of paper. Lastly, rats and cockroaches will miss the trash which we humans used to generate every day. Mm. Okay. Okay. Long, long. I thought it was only the first question. <laughs> but I leave it because I thought it like, you know, interesting. Okay. So I forgot the first question, Kathy. <laughs> you forgot? <laughs> what was the first one? The first question was what if a uh, social distance was made permanent? Was permanent, yes. Was why permanent worldwide? Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's say um, if you remember, of course, and if you have a different answer also okay so what if social distancing wo was made permanent worldwide lucia what do you um, think i think the video was right and um, but maybe i don't think it will be respected even if this uh, like obligatory permanent like okay. like nowadays okay um instead of saying obligatory you can say compulsory compulsory or um, it's um mandatory is mandatory right. that's right mandatory is under an order right and compulsory mm -hmm. is Más parecido a obligatorio, right? But mandatory is because someone says so, okay? The government says so, and that is mandatory. And compulsory, it's only because it's not optional, right? It's you have to do it like a must, okay? Yeah, it's almost the same thing, right? But obligatory, I don't think it's, it's not, uh, okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course, people wouldn't make attention, would, wouldn't uh, com compile, com comply, comply with it, okay? Complete, okay? Like, like, you know? Yes, it's true. What else? What else can you say about being like uh, forever? Because sometimes I, I also think, what happens if, this is a new order of things and it's yeah. it's like a before and after this and you know there are some things that are like this right could be so i think maybe get used to it at some point you know and technology will be like there every day like we will be buying everything that provide some entertainment um, I think that okay 
Yeah, but I, I feel a bit like uh, worried uh, about the new relationships, right? Because for me and my husband, yeah. we are together. We don't need to be, you know, uh, social distancing inside my home, okay? Because we are not, com you know, with, with the COVID, uh, you know, we are not infected, okay? At home, at least. But you that are, you are young and you need to to build a family if you wish so what how are you going to do you know it's kind of scary yeah i don't know <laughs> okay um the other question was what if there is no more grocery stores the grocery stores the the people under underground living underground and to use to use the, this was the second okay Graciela, you talk about that what if we have to use masks in a permanent way uh, that would be sad also, <laughs> uh, but mm, I will say, but my own experience that the first day I put my, the mask on my face was uh, like unbearable to walk many blocks with the mask on my face. It was uh, quite difficult to, to breathe, but uh, when the days went, went on, Okay. Yeah, went on or passed by. Passed by, uh, I got used to. I got yeah. used to. But um, I hope that in the future, don't know when, uh, will not be necessary. That that won't be necessary. That, that won't, won't be. be necessary. Yes, you are saying something, right? Uh, the first time I wore a mask, I went out, of course, and I don't remember, I had to do some shopping uh, nearby, okay? And I remember that I cried, I cried, you know? There were like tears falling, you know, because I felt, no, no, this, this is something that, you know, I felt sad for you yeah. girls, the first time you wore a mask, how was it? Yeah, I, 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 um, it was like really weird, like awkward, cause, um, and uh, the first time, well, the, yes, the first time I wore it was to um, uh, go for a walk with my dogs, but I mean, uh, I live near the, um, uh, a park? Ah, uh, yes, yes, yes. The, the walking, a, a walking so, path that we so have here. There was exactly. no one there, so mm -hmm. we we went there. It, it's like a half half a uh, um, kilometer. Yeah, oh, ha, yeah, yeah. Half a half a square. Half a square. You gonna say, or you gonna say half a block? Half a block. Okay. Yes. Have a so we went there with my mom, and yes, it was a really awkward like experience to go with the the, uh -huh. the face mask. Mm -hmm. And yes, I and we had um, one of my dogs. Um, they are bigger, so they like to to escape, and uh, they one of them. Um, um went running yes went uh, running i don't know uh, he say. took that yes i know what you want to mean he took out the uh, least the least no the, the, let me sh let me check i don't remember how to say this uh, color of the dogs yeah. oh the least the uh, wait wait I'm going to say that because that is important. We cannot be without knowing how to say that. We are uh, very uh, loving, pet loving, okay? Um, so, 
sorry. Okay, leash. The leash is, yeah, the leash is, is that uh, Correa, the leash. Can you spell it, leash. leash, yes, I'm going to share it uh, on the chatting, okay? The leash, pueden ver en el chatting, okay, leash. Okay, leash es en la Correa, okay? Yeah. And the other, you can say, yeah, it's a color, the color and the leash, the color and the leash, okay? The color and the leash, la correa y el collar. There is another word, but I don't remember exactly. Yeah, but they say the color and the leash. Okay, yes. Yeah, yeah, all, all of the possibilities are related to that okay there is also a safety color or a safety vest because it's, it's the different you know that it grabs the dog from the chest and you know that also yes, the, my mine um they have uh, uh, like a vest that's a safety vest yeah. for do, for dogs okay safety safety vest Okay, so, and a leash. Mm -hmm. So, if... Yeah, I don't remember what I was saying, but... No, the, you yeah. said that he, he broke that and he, he escaped. Oh, yes. Yeah. So, yeah. I had to run with my mom <laughs> to, to catch her. And, you yeah, breathe. it was... It was like hard to breathe when it was uh, like running. Yeah. At least the first time, then you like get used to but the first time was like yeah. yes i have heard some people that you know they, they like to go running jogging and they say that it's very difficult to do that with the mask yeah it's very difficult and not healthy and it's and not, not healthy because you're breathing a co2 like like, a, like forzado that it's not uh, natural no, not guess, natural uh, yeah Extract news about the runner that uh -huh. one of his lungs uh, were, was collapsed because of running with a mask. Oh dear! Yes, and he there died. Are a lot of countries yeah. that are um, that are saying that are allowing allowing uh, running, but with face masks. So I don't know. Yeah. Yes, it's true. It's true, but um, yeah, not not very good. Well, so that was your case. And how about you, Lucia? How was your first time with a mask? Unmute yourself. <laughs> I'm sorry. Yeah, I mute myself because there was some noises out there, so. Can't worry, yeah. dear. Can't. Yeah, was when I don't really go out a lot. The was when I go went to my father's house, so we had to use it. So if they stop us, we um we have to have the mask. Mm -hmm. But it was really like hard to feel breathe the the warm air, so weird. And it's annoying because it's like um, it, uh, como que no te deja ver bien. No me sale oh, okay, it blocks your sight. It blocks blocks yeah. somehow because it's not exactly that it blocks, but somehow it kind of block your sight. It kind of yeah, like I, I have to to look. Yeah, like under uh -huh. my, I don't know, my, to look It's because you young, have I have to here. like turn too much my hair. Yes, it's because you have something here. Imagine that you put it, put your head up, so it yeah. blocks your sight. So you have to look like that. So you, you're, you have a, an open wide 
you know, view. Okay. Yes, it's true. And you don't have, I mean, if you are wearing glasses. <laughs> Foggy glasses. Yes. <laughs> they get wet with your own breath, you know. They get but there, wet. There is a trick to, you know. They told me, yes, with. You have. You have to put a soap, soap. The, the hard soap, uh -huh. uh, and grab it, huh? yes. grab it, eh? Lo, grab, so, so barro, grab, así. grab it, the, grab, the two sides, grab. the two sides. I use it in the both sides. Okay. And then in you clean with a with a napkin. Nap, nap, uh -huh. Napkin. Uh, yes. Napkin with a paper napkin. Paper and, napkin. And it's uh, magical. 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 Yes. Some somebody told me any yes. kind of soap, any kind of soap, or what? The one you use to. I use the one I use in the shower okay so, so it can be any okay yes yes the friend had told me told me the white soap white the one soap may be for, better for clean clothes but the, I, as i don't have i use the one i use okay. in the shower yeah and they say maybe white. neutral neutral soap maybe. without cream maybe, maybe. But, it, but it any any soap can work Yes. Okay, I'm going to do that because every time I use, I have to wear a mask. My glasses are like, you know, uh, England in winter. <laughs> yes. Foggy. Foggy, foggy. Very good. Well, the next one was what if there are no more groceries like to buy fresh food, okay? <laughs> no more groceries to buy fresh food. Okay, uh, all, all of them are consequences of the first question, I think, right? But uh, what if, what if there is no more grocery stores? No more the, the, the shop in the corner of your street, no more that. What if, okay, let's say something, no more. In my case, I would die because I, I really love to buy vegetables and eat vegetables and fresh meat and everything, right? So, yes, but no, if they would start, I, we would start uh, buying uh, that food uh, from like farms and that kind of like. Yes, you're right. We so, could we uh, could but, uh, get a different alternative. Sorry, I could. Couldn't. You're right. You're right. Like if if that happens, we maybe we we can get that from an alternative market. You know, online from the farms itself or yep. themselves. Okay. Yeah. And so true. I. I think that um, if we buy things directly from the farm and that kind of market uh, and the vegetables and fruits and um, food in general will be like healthier because they don't have, yeah. I think they have a lot of like, well, not probably, I mean, it, it still has the chemicals and all the mm -hmm. Maybe, but maybe. I think uh -huh. that uh, we won't be buying like I don't know burgers from McDonald's and uh, like. Don't fast say food. that. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I think it will be. We will have a healthier diet. Uh -huh. Yeah, we but. Have. I don't think that is going to happen. There are too many yeah. uh, interests or too yeah. much interest involved. And I don't think that that is going to happen. What do you think, Lucia? Yeah, also it said like the groceries, not uh -huh. uh, like the this uh, vegetables. Like McDonald's, the, uh -huh. the this grocery. kind of. Uh -huh. so, uh, so I think it, it will be 
uh, or people like small business selling that kind of uh, fast food and because it's always uh, like un negocio, no sé cómo decirlo. Business, it's always a good business, yeah. It's always a good yeah. idea. Yes, you know what? I think that some people would start would ex start a growing uh, some vegetables uh, or maybe having some chickens again in their homes to have eggs. Maybe, maybe I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. What do you think, Graciela? You're nodding. You're nodding. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. Kathy. You're right, Lucia. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's like uh, uh, back to the past because I remember when I was a child, it was uh, very common to have chickens in the house as, as I, my grandma had and uh, a little orchard where she cultivated pumpkins, tomatoes, lettuce, and it's... Uh, well, I did some time ago, then I give up, give, give up, and then we start again to make the orchard. Oh, good. Um, I'm going to step on your house. I'm going to go to visit you sometime in the future and grab some tomatoes. <laughs> yes, yes. I have a lot of cherry tomatoes. Oh, dear. But that was from the from the summertime. Okay. Uh, and also many people start to, to meal and make uh, homemade pasta and homemade bread. For me it's new because uh, we did always. But for me For you people, it's not new. For me it's not new. Uh -huh. uh, but many people start like uh, starting uh, with that new activities um, from quarantine started. Uh huh. Since maybe since the quarantine yeah. started, yeah, they 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 are doing that, right? Um, have maybe a good habit to keep uh, for the future. Of course, you know. Sometimes I feel, why did we stop? such a good habit you know from the past it's like comfort you know the comfort that we have gained you know have made us lazy somehow right but also yeah. i don't know all of us live in gray in green places with garden we have the possibility of growing a, a oh. little orchard oh. but People it's who live not common, yeah. in apartment, mm -hmm. only sometimes they have a little balcony. Mm -hmm. And I think that uh, they, they will try. Mm -hmm. They will try. Many people will try. Uh, aunque, although even, even, even though, though, even, even though. Even though they, all, they only have a little balcony. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Yes, it's true. I am so into that, but my husband doesn't help me. You know, I, I always ask him, please, please uh, buy uh, these uh, small like um, recipients. I mean, I don't know how to say that. Uh, you can try with little drawers from the green grocery. Drawers, drawers from the green grocers. Yes, yes, yes. Because, yes. because I don't like to to broke the, my grass. That's right. That's right. So I put in drawers. Drawers are good, or boxes, maybe boxes made by wood. Okay. Yes. Wood can, but can we make it? You know. Uh, it can be wooden, can be made by wood, I mean, is it possible? Yes, we put a, a plastic paper yeah. before we put the soil. Okay, very, very to good. The, yes. the, to protect the there is the no pretext. I'm going to do it. <laughs> okay, very good. Yeah, and I, the, I am yes. totally did a, a wool. You like, did I have one. Show yes. us. 
Sure. I did it with my father. Oh, oh my God. good. What are you growing there? It's a plant, a gulenda. Oh, yeah, it. but it's huge. Yeah, because my grandma gave it to me, it was already grown. Like, I have this from a week ago. So. Oh, good. Yes, but we, we want a suculenta to eat the suculenta, and we cannot <laughs> eat the suculenta. <laughs> are you, are you growing something, Sofia? No, you're not growing anything. Um, no, my mom did, like, um, and I helped her to do, um, like, but... No, um, the the man that works for for my grandma, um, it it was a really close friend to my grandpa, and he helped my mom uh, do a uh, like um, ¿cómo se dice? Uh, como un ah, de madera un ¿cómo se ah, para poner plantas que viene con distintos como estantes. Como percha, como perchitas así. Claro, algo así. You know, sí. they call it vertical garden. Vertical garden, un jardín vertical. So they put it like yeah. stands, okay, like shelves, yeah. como si fueran estantes, okay, and yeah. they put the, the, what I don't remember is how to say los macetas. Esa es la que no me estoy acordando cómo se dice. Oh. Pots, thank you very much. Thank you, pots, pots, yes. So it's a vertical garden where you put the pots, you know, and you hang them, los cuelgas, mm -hmm. or, or they, you put them in stands or shelves, mm -hmm. okay? And, and then you have like, oh, that is very nice. Yes, very and nice. Uh, we put uh, all like... Um, species. Yes. Like, for example, coleander. coleander. Uh, let's yes. remember some of them. Coleander. Um, parsley. Uh, parsley. Pardon me? Um, mint. Mint. Um, pepper. No, pepper, no. Pepper, no, no, no. Uh, no there's no. parsley. Basil. Uh, basil. Basil. Yes, orégano no me acuerdo. Es orégano mismo. Rosemary, rosemary. Rosemary, mm -hmm. rosemary, of course, but orégano no me acuerdo. Let me check. Uh -huh. Ok, basil era creo albahaca, ¿verdad chicas? Háganme acuerdo. Sí. Basil, basil, albahaca. Basil se escribe, basil. Mm -hmm. Coliander, cilantro. Parsley, perejil. Mint, menta. Me parece que orégano es igual. Marioram. Marioram. I can't believe it. I thought it was orégano igual. Ah, yes. Yes. It says in, in both ways. Both ways. Marjorant or orégano. Let's go with orégano. I can't see it because it's so clear. Uh, okay. Marjoram. 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 Yeah, but it, that is very difficult. Let's, let's keep oregano. Okay. Oregano. 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 Okay. Well, so all those you are going to, I mean, you, you planted and did they grow? Um, yeah. yeah, kind of, but uh, I mean, we planted like, um, I don't know, a month ago, so, mm -hmm. so it you, isn't that. You're still waiting, yes. Okay. But I think a month is enough. Um, in a month you can have something or not, uh, Graciela. What's that date? Sorry. If you, if you, I mean, if you, Put a seed, you know, of these, or or you maybe put a little plant, a little plant that is already, uh, um, already, you know, germinated, already, you know, uh, 
a little grow, okay? So you plant that, there is a name for that, okay? But you plant this little plant of parsley or whatever. A month is enough to have the, to, to, to have some, I mean, produce Emma, for that. Emma, In a month, uh -huh. No, I think that no. the month is not enough because not enough. sometimes um, seed demands two, two weeks just to, to appear and to germinate, yes. To germinate, okay. But, and then, also, but also? Also, we, um, it is like for the decoration, not to ah, use them. But for tell the your smell. mom, tell your mom that when you, she's done with it, I am going to visit as well, as well I'm going to visit Graciela and grab some tomatoes. And I'm going to visit your mom and grab some species. And Lucia, you are going to plant something as well because I need to have, you know, a good friends with a lot of food to share. <laughs> you need the complete farm. <laughs> yes, yes. You know, I have, I have a student that she's not coming because of this quarantine and she doesn't have a good connection, so she's not coming. But she lives uh, in Solis, right? Not Solis exactly, but in a place that is almost, you know, uh, the countryside, okay? Near Sarate, near Sarate, but far enough to have some green spaces to plant and have a, a lot of, you know, different uh, uh, vegetable, fruit, you know, animals. She even has animals. She, I think she has some cows, some chickens, some pigs, I think. Well, the thing is that she is not going out. You know, she doesn't need to go out because she has everything she needs in her house, you know. Well, I Pardon me. Uh, no, no. Uh, continue. I I will say what I have to say. Uh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Funny well, yeah. Well, it isn't. That is a very good news. Okay. Very good news. Just mm. yeah, she's being independent, right? She doesn't need the markets. She doesn't need to know if the dollars are going crazy. You know, she doesn't need that. She's okay at home right she needs electricity yes yes she needs water maybe but food it's important and she's done with it okay very good very good news yeah you were about to say something yeah no i was going to say that i have family in entre uh, rios uh -huh. that also have, uh, they live uh, like um I, I think like 20 kilometers from the city mm -hmm. and they have like all a uh, different um, like um, farming, harvest, uh, plantations. Yeah, like uh, I have, I, yes, I need to Google this because I need to know how to say what you want to say. Plantaciones, cosecha. No, like uh, campo. Oh, Campo. fields, fields, fields. Yes, like fields, uh, like really big ones, and they have uh, chickens, cows, horses, like everything. They also plant uh, like species. Ah. They have uh, fruit, uh, like really. Uh huh. Um, and vegetables. Lemons, Yes, so they have everything there. So they they barely go to the supermarket. Or, I mean, like almost never. Uh -huh. They barely. I love her speech. They barely. Oh, how fancy using barely. They barely go to the supermarket. Bare, scarcely, almost never. Very good. <laughs> I can talk. I like it. Okay, let's change the topic, please. Because now I have another thing to share with you. 
This place I highly recommend because it's good English and not difficult, but good English. I even got some new words from one of, let me share with you one of one minute, one video of these little guys here of one minute, because I want to, I want to, no, 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 no. Let's go to this. Uh, you can see how, how many times I am watching Property Brothers. No Property Brothers and Rescue Animals. Property Brothers and Rescue Animals. Okay. Why do we have different time zones? Okay. It's one minute. It's um some time. Why do we have different time zones? Because we have different watches. Nah. Our Earth rotates on its own axis. Due to this rotation, different parts of the Earth receive different amounts of sunlight, thus causing morning, noon, evening, and night. Now, if we had one time zone, then 12 p.m. would be noon at some places, but it would be night or evening at other places which would be inconvenient. Hence, scientists made different time zones according to the Earth's rotation with respect to the Sun. But how? The Earth makes one full 360 degree rotation in 24 hours. This means in one hour, the Earth moves by 15 degrees. Using this information, scientists divided the planet into 24 sections or time zones. Each section or region was about 15 degrees wide and had a specific standard time. This helped us know the proper time of the day in that part of the Earth. Hmm, hold on guys! Can you guess the title of my next video? Huh? Hurry up! Write your guess in the comment section below. Okay. Very good. Okay. Um, please tell me if you found some new words. If you found some new words. Hmm. Yes or no? no? No. Okay. I want to know if you know what is the meaning of this word. That hmm, I knew. Sorry, I have to go to the door. I have two words. Tell me the ne the meaning of those. I, I have to get the, the uh, go to the door and I come back in thirty seconds. Yeah. I don't know you girls. No, I I I think uh, that. I don't remember. I I, I know I knew it. Um, yes, the same. Uh, I think I I saw that, him, but I don't remember. That maybe. Okay. Como? Thank you very much. That como? O como? O sea, diciendo algo como consecuencia. That. Yes. Yeah. Right. Yes. Por consecuente, por no me sale la palabra. Yes. Thus, hence, therefore, and so. Those are familiar, but not exactly using the same context, right? When you say so, so is, you know, you are with friends and you're talking, you know freely you know and you maybe say dude hey dude so what are you doing tomorrow then so is correct okay but maybe if you're having a conference giving a lecture or listening to something that can be scientific maybe then you're going to see instead of 
so or in consequence, okay, or therefore, you're going to hear hence or thus, okay, with subtle differences, with subtle differences, okay? I want to share with you the differences between a thus, okay, thus meaning and then hence meaning, okay? Miriam Webster is a good one, okay? Thus, pronunciation. Thus, thus, thus. Okay. In this or that manner or way, like you are continuing something and you say in this manner, in this way, and you continue something, okay? To this degree or extent, okay? Up to this degree or extent is like so, okay? But it's more thus far. They say thus far. I never use this. I think it's archaic, okay? This thus far, mm -hmm, no, not very used, okay? But thus, yes, it is quite often, okay? Another, because of this or because of that, in that way is similar to hence or consequently. Okay, and also very common to use as an example, as an example. Let's check the synonyms, okay? Accordingly, consequently, ergo, okay? When you say ergo, it's because you have a very, very, you know, high-end uh, way of speaking, right? You know, maybe you are a philosopher, a philosopher or something like that, you know? Then you say ergo, okay? Hence, so, therefore, thereupon, thereupon, I never use this, but I have heard sometimes this as a consequence, okay? Like, you know, in, in one matter, in one way or another, they're upon. I, I think that it's very, it, you can, you can maybe uh, come across this word, okay? And this one, never heard, wherefore, wherefore, okay? This is for me too difficult. I think I'm not going to use it, but yes, thus and hence are more often than we think okay let's see examples right with context okay uh, graciela please yeah. read read the first example let me make it a little bigger okay here okay the judge expressed it does. Our obligation is to discover the truth. Okay, the judge express it thus, thus. Like for example, is in here. Okay, okay. This detergent is highly concentrated, and thus you will need to dilute it. Okay, dilute. in here is more as a you know in consequence or therefore. Okay, or so, okay. This is very difficult. Uh, so, so, Sophia, uh, yeah. Lum. Bloom and her team tweak. Uh huh. It's the leverage. 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 Among all the stream gauge data, thus isolating the role of pa paving, paving for from other human modification. Okay, first of all, 
this is impossible to understand, right? So you can, you can, you can understand that this word is not typical, right, to hear in a, in a common conversation, okay? It's related to all these, okay? This word tweaked, I, I, I need to know the meaning of that word, tweaked, tweaked, tweaked. Okay, tweaked, wait, uh, never heard. Tweaked is W E A K, tweak. Okay, tweak meaning because it's in the past tense, right? Okay, the meaning of tweak is a twist. I imagine that it could be a twist or pull something sharply. Okay, to twist or pull something sharply. He tweaked the boy's ear. When you tweak a boy's, the boy's ear, listen to me. Are you looking at me now? Can yes. you see me? Yes. All of you yes. can see me, Lucia? Yes. yes. Yes, can you see me? This is to tweak a boy's ear. Ah. Okay, to tweak a boy's ear. Eh, torcerle la oreja a un, nene, a un nene, castigo de antaño, ¿verdad? Tweak, <laughs> yes, okay, tweak the boy's ear, yeah, yeah? okay, no. that is, now, Bloom and her team tweak it to leverage, this leverage, I have heard a lot, that word, but I don't remember, para mí es como igualar o hacer algo que tenga nivel, Leverage meaning, vamos a ver. No me da mucha información. The exertion of force by means of a lever. ¿Qué será lever? My spade hit something solid that wouldn't respond to leverage. Mm. Grip, como algo que se sostiene, grip. Eh? Un, una, agarrar algo. Google Translator says to take advantage. To take advantage, maybe another. Para aprovechar. Ajá, aprovecharse. Acá me suena como agarrar. El agarre de algo, ¿ya? Pero puede ser tomar ventaja de algo como agarrar, agarrarse, porque tiene grip. Grip es agarrarse. Y acá dice... Bloom and her team tweak it to leverage differences among the stream gotch. Este gotch data no sé qué es. Pero sí puede ser que torció, lo, torció algo, empujó, torció algo para ganar, para agarrar diferencias entre los stream gotch. No tengo la menor idea qué es. De por gusto me metí a leer esto. Pero si veo una cosa que es rara, la verdad, chicos, hay que aprovechar y buscarlo. Por ahí uh -huh. no nos acordamos nunca. Stream Gotch Data está completa la palabra. Meaning, voy a poner porque no tengo la menor idea. A ver. The process of measuring the water discharge or flow at a particular point. Ah. Es, es donde el agua de un río, ¿sí? Eh, es medir el agua, la descarga de agua que, que va hacia un río. Medir la descarga de agua que va hacia un río. I don't understand, like, the, the sentence in, in like, all together. No le entiendes. Leverage, stream, gut, like, I can. Yes, you can't, you mean, or you can. You can't. can't. Yes, it's impossible. Like, can't understand it. No, that's right. First of all, pave it. Pay, paving. Paving. Let's see paving. Maybe paving is the, the clue here. Paving, paving the, parece que es pavimentando, a ver, meaning, paving. But, 
When, when is it? Pavimentar, uh, pavimentar. When you put paving the way, mm -hmm. say, allanando el camino, like uh -huh. to make it easier. Uh-huh, okay. The isolating the role of paving from other human modification. No, oh it's God. impossible. No, no, no. This is... This is, you know, this is something I, I'm, I don't even understand what is the main idea. Okay. Well, it, I yes, think I mean, if you look um, a little um, down, the, uh, it says uh, the, the article, I think it's mm -hmm. about uh, um, like um, a side effect of a uh, paving uh, mm -hmm. on urban flooding. Like, I mean, like uh, the side effect of paving is um, like flooding in other... You, you know what is urban flooding? No. <laughs> okay, I think now, now I got it, now I got it. Thank you very much, Sofia, because we had to check this, right? Because urban flooding is when a lot of people move to one place. For example, Villa 31, okay? A lot of people go to live there because they don't want to live in the countryside and they move, okay? but in a huge amount, all together. That is a urban flood, okay? You know what is a flood, inundación, right? Yes. But urban flood is when a lot of people move to one place, you know, to live there. And it says, expanding paved areas, expandir áreas pavimentadas. Hmm? Has, claro, no. has an outsize tiene un efecto de crecimiento ¿sí? on urban flooding es verdad si tú pavimentas áreas if you pave areas the people want to go and live there porque están haciendo urbanización se está urbanizando una zona va y se, la gente se va para allá ok de eso se trata. Ahora sí veamos. Bloom, me parece que es un político, ¿ok? Bloom and her team tweak it to leverage, to, tweak it to leverage differences. Es la frase completa. Torció para mejorar, para, para tomar ventaja de las diferencias. ¿eh? Es decir, es una acción política, pongamos, entre comillas, ¿ok? Una acción disque política, ¿no? Tweak it, tweak it to leverage differences. ¿Among quién? Among the stream gauge data, la información que llegaba, la información que venía como el agua que cae corriente así en, en un río, ¿ya? Es metafórico como agua, de stream gauge data. Thus, ahí viene, por consiguiente, ¿m? logrando como acción, isolating the role of paving, separando el rol de la pavimentación, del hecho de pavimentar, que en ese caso no es el paving que dijo paving away, ¿ya? sino solo el hecho de pavimentar, acá sí es pavimentar físico, uh -huh. separando eso de otras modificaciones que son puramente humanas, de otras modificaciones de esta actitud de irse la gente a poblar cosas que sea solo humana. Eso era todo. Lo único que teníamos que nosotros entender acá es que el DAS era, él hizo todo esto, ¿sí?, y por consiguiente logra hacer lo segundo, ¿sí? ¿Ya? Entonces es como so o therefore. Therefore, ¿eh? o as a consequence, podría haber sido la, 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 la palabra acá. As a consequence, 
isolating the role. Isolating es dejando solo, separando, ¿ok? ¿Ok? ¿Se entiende ya o todavía no? Díganme la verdad, chicos. Yo sé que esto fue sí, sí. bastante feito. <risa> Vamos solamente a... De decantemos lo más importante de acá. Tweak, tweaked, tweak, tweak y tweaked como verbo. Torcer, torcer, hacer así, ¿eh? torcer algo, tweak. Leverage, todavía no me queda a mí totalmente claro. Pero pongamos grip, agarre, leverage, agarre. ¿Saben dónde ya me acuerdo leverage? Cuando uno ve las poleas, ciertas cositas que se tienen que enganchar así. Por ejemplo, hay algunas como mecanismos que tienen que tener agarre una, una cosita con la otra, ¿ya? Para, para que el mecanismo se mueva. Eso es leverage. También creo que las ruedas tienen que tener leverage contra el piso, ¿ya? Uh -huh. Tiene que tener agarre, pero ese agarre de las ruedas le llaman grip, no leverage, ¿ya? Uh -huh. ¿Ya? Pero es esa idea de que las cosas hagan como fricción la una con la otra, agarren, se sostengan así y sigan ¿eh? un, un mecanismo. Eso es leverage, muy difícil palabra. Stream Gotch data, es toda una frase, es el, 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 la, la información que se obtiene del agua que va directo a un río y que viene en correntadas y que se mide, ¿ya? Puede ser agua de fábrica, ¿no? Que entra al río y que tenga una medición. Ese data se llama stream gotch data. Rarísimo. Isolating. Viene de isolate, de solo, de soledad. Paving, pave es pavimentar, paving sería la acción de pavimentar. ¿Y pave, pave away qué era? Esa no me acuerdo, la que tú habías visto. Allanar el camino. Allanar el camino. Mira, qué linda, esa frase no se nos debería borrar. Pave away. O sea, uno puede decir, eh, somebody is paving away, you know, eh, The, the possibilities to, to go out of this uh, lockdown, ¿ok? Yes. Están allanando el camino para salir de este lockdown. Okay. It's a nice phrase, I will yes. write it, so yes. don't forget. Yes, yes. Paving away no. the possibilities to go out of this lockdown, ¿ok? Por eso es el uso del das, das, ¿eh? Es como un soul, ¿ok? Y ahora el uso del hens es igualito o parecido. Hens. Me odiaron, chicas, con esto. Okay. Hens me suena a gallinero también. Ah, ¿No será fens? Let me check. Ajá. Ella me va a traer capaz y está la palabra gens en algún lado como gallinero. Yo nunca la he oído como gallinero. Gens house. Gens house. Ah, mírala. A gens house gallinero. No la conocía. New for me. Chicos, miren. Was close. Very good. Gens house. Gens house. Gens house gallinero. Ah. Oh, pero tú sabes una cosa, se escribe diferente, creo yo, creo yo, o la buscaste con igual así, queda igual idéntica. Hems house. Ajá. No, are two words, hems, H-E-M, and house, another word. Ah, ya, pero que se queda solo gen, no con S. Con, no, con, no, ya, no, no, no. Ya, porque ahí sí, porque gen es gallina. Yes, because ah, of ajá. that. Ajá. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Gen solito es gallina, entonces gen house es gallina, pero no gens. gens. No, no. Ya, ok. Fíjense, miren los, miren los uh, sinónimos de gens. Accordingly, Son los mismos de das. The same, yes. ¿Eh? Son los mismos de das, ¿ok? 
Son los mismos de dos, entonces es por lo tanto, ¿ok? Hay solo una cosa, por ejemplo, dice que hay ciertas palabras de estas que ya están arcaicas, hence for, from this place on, hence, ¿eh? como way, esa no la sabía, ¿ok? Las que más se usan es esto, because of a preceding fact, ¿ok? Como therefore. Debido, o sea, de acuerdo a esto, tac, dices lo otro. Hence, ok. Bien. Nada, hasta ahí nos quedamos. Ahora, mírenla en el contexto que la pusieron acá. Ok. It's um sometime. Why do we have different time zones? Because we have different watches. Nah. Our Earth rotates on its own axis. Due to this rotation, different parts of the Earth receive different amounts of sunlight, thus causing morning, noon, evening, and night. Now, if we had one time zone, then 12 p.m. would be noon at some places, but it would be night or evening at other places which would be inconvenient. Hence, scientists made different time zones according to the Earth's rotation with respect to the Sun. But how? The Earth makes one full 360-degree rotation in 24 hours. This means in one hour, the Earth moves by 15 degrees. Using this information, scientists divided the planet into 24 sections or time zones. Each section or region was about 15 degrees wide and had a specific standard time. This helped us know the proper time of the day in that part of the Earth. Hmm, hold on guys! Can you guess the title of my next video? Hurry. Okay, that's all. <clears throat> that's all, that's all. Because uh, the rest is only closing. Okay, here, thus and hence, right? Ahí estaban las palabras. Thus, eh? como un so, and hence, like, uh, therefore, okay? Pardon me? Like, because of that or in... In consequence, right. the scientists have created this, you know. Yeah. Okay, very good. Did you know all that about the time zones? Yeah. No, you didn't know? Yeah, but you didn't know that? Yeah. I didn't know exactly. I didn't know exactly how it was, right? Okay. But uh, can you imagine that this channel is for children? <laughs> For very clever children. Yeah, because all yeah. the questions, you know, all the questions are related to some, you know, things that they could answer. For example, why do ants build their homes, you know, uh, in that way, you know, why? Or what um, is, uh, is it real that animals can predict disasters? Okay. Oh, those questions are there, okay? If you like them, you can go and check. Um, some, um, some. <laughs> okay, let's change the topic, okay? Let's move to another thing. Close, 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 and yes. Okay, I found this and I uh, share it at the chat box, okay? This place is called English Grammar Online. Don't worry, this is not going to be about grammar, okay? This is going to be about daily English, okay? Daily English. Every day in this place, they change the topic, okay? And they put a different topic every day. Today's topic is stereotypes, okay? Please, Graciela, start. Huh? I don't know why. Cathy, yo apago la cámara si me lo acerco para leer, porque si no, no. Oh, all of you, all of you are without camera? Oh, yes, here. I didn't know why, I didn't yo know why. Si no, lo tengo que tener muy lejos. Don't worry, do it, do it, okay? Okay, stereotypes, okay? Graciela, you start reading the intro. Okay. 
There are many different types of people in the world. Where we live and what we look like makes us where we live and what we look like makes us special. Because of this, people from Europe even act differently than than people from Asia. Okay, very but good. Let's just stop. Let's just stop okay. there. Let's just stop. Very good, Sophia. Um, but, but if we take those differences and say that they are always true, we are making a stereotype. Some stereotypes are harmless, but many stereotypes can be mean, placing many people into one category just because they look or act a, cer a certain way. is unfair. Stereotypes often give us an incorrect understanding of other people. Stop, 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 stop. Thank you very much. Lucia? A common phrase in English is don't judge a book by its color. We should get to know people before we decide what they are like. Kelly is sad because one of her, one of her friends was stereotyped. Find out what Brian thinks in today's English lesson about judging people. Okay, very good. This is a very nice topic. You know, it's about maybe judging people, okay? Can you tell me something related to this topic? Maybe a question, maybe an opinion, maybe uh, asking for more information, whatever you want. But well, I think this topic, I mean, I, I have heard, for example, on television and news and that kind of things, uh, the like uh, that we are now uh, stereotyping the um, Chinese people for the coronavirus. And uh, for example, uh, Trump did it. I mean, he said it was a Chinese virus. Um, and we, I mean, like uh, common people, like, um, like judge uh, Chinese or um, stereotype Chinese people because of the coronavirus now. So. True, yeah. true. Yes, yes. I Gra? Yes, I, I was rereading uh, this and thinking that really is a uh, really bad or awful stereotype people because of their appearance or how they, they look like uh, that uh, gives always the possibility of interact with them uh, for later have our uh, knowledge about that people. Okay. Don't, don't pre, pre, pre judge. Prejudge. Prejudge. Uh -huh. Don't prejudge uh -huh. the, uh -huh. because how they look like. That's right. And the word is prejudice. Okay. The prejudice is when you prejudge. Okay. Uh, and, and you prejudge. That's right. And you make that prejudice based on the stereotypes you are making you know in your mind yes. lucia what what you can uh, you know add or say topic related i don't know uh, really because uh, you said a lot <laughs> but maybe <laughs> yeah uh, maybe to say that it's pretty common and it's something that would take a lot of time to like to get away i don't know how to say it yes get away like or to change yeah it's something uh pretty common and something that we have like instilled in our in our society society it's inserted <laughs> inserted yeah and i am going to talk uh, as a psychologist right it's almost impossible to avoid making prejudice okay making prejudges okay you know it's almost almost impossible okay um uh, suppose that you see someone running on the street 
towards you, okay? And you, you know, uh, according to the clothes and the color of the skin, and maybe if you can feel the person is dirty or clean, or mm -hmm. I don't know, and you see that person running towards you, okay? It's immediately that you're going to try to be safe, uh, maybe running somewhere else or uh, going to a door, breaking into a, a door, you know, that is somewhere there. You, you need to be protected because you feel that it's a team that is going to steal you or kill you because you have seen a lot of people dressed in the same way with the same color skin, you know, with the same maybe uh, appearance uh, doing very bad things. So that is terrible, but that is something that is going to be natural because we learn from experience and the experience mm -hmm. has, you know, has repeated, a repeated experience and says, people like that is acting like this and if they are running towards you, you have to get safe, go somewhere else, okay? I don't know. Well, that is pretty common in, for example, the US. I mean, I, I've heard that, uh, for example, a lot of kids are uh, like uh, with um, like, well, black skin, uh -huh. uh, like I don't know, dark skin. Mm -hmm. um, I, um, for example, their parents uh, don't allow uh, their kids to go outside um, from uh, uh, after night because um, they are, for example, uh, I've heard a case somewhere um, like a teenager went to, was going to his house, was coming back home and um, a police, um, well, he didn't have the keys, so he tried to enter, um, Oh, break! Window. He tried and to break, he break through the window. Mm -hmm. Yes, he and he got shot uh, oh. because uh, they thought that he was um, trying, trying to, to steal. Yes. Yeah. Uh, when you when you try to enter a house, not in the normal way, you are trying to break through. Breakthrough, break. you say breaking through, okay? Breaking through the window, breaking through the hands or the fence or the, you know, the wall, okay? Breaking through the house, right? So, yes, terrible. And, if and well, they you said that, for example, if it was a white um, teen, they wouldn't have shot him as they did uh, because he was. That is the bad thing, that, that is the bad part, yes. Yeah, it, it was maybe someone who is doing that, yes, it could, yeah, it, it's something that you can be cautious, right? But not because of the color, the action itself is, you know, something to be like a, a bit, uh, you know, warning, to have a warning, but, yeah. but, it's true that maybe if that person was white, they could at least ask. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, to be more careful, I think. Yeah, it's terrible. Mm -hmm. It's terrible. Yes. Well, let's listen to the dialogue, okay? First, only English, listen. baby. Listen. Hey, Brian. I've just had a really bad day. A friend of mine, somebody was stereotyping her, and I, I feel really bad for her. It's just so unfair. Yeah, it's really hard when people just generalize you based on your background or the way you look. You never think about it, but it goes both ways, that judgment. I had a friend who really liked me because I was Asian, but he didn't really know who I was. He just thought that was a fun thing. Mm -hmm. So he didn't like, dig deeper no. and get to know you. And anyway, he was trying to be positive about the stereotype, but mm -hmm. at the same time, he was just characterizing me as someone else. Oh, I never thought about that. Actually, people rely way too heavily on stereotypes. Yeah, it's this preconceived notion that get stuck in their head. And generalizing is just not a good thing. Really just getting to know people is way more important than just assuming. 
Well, I agree. Because you know what they say about assuming. Yes. It makes an ass out of you and me. Okay. Oh, it ain't there. Did you get the word rely? No. Did, did you get the word uh, rely? No. Uh, you shouldn't rely. Yes. You know the word rely? Do you know the word rely? Yes, yes I know. Yes. What is the meaning of rely? Someone reliable yeah. is someone who can, yeah. you can trust in. Yes, you can trust yes. in that person is reliable. And the verb to rely? To trust in someone. Or, yeah. To trust yes. or to rest. Okay? Yes. To trust mm -hmm. or to rest. This is to rely. Okay? This is my, my notebook. And my book is relying. <laughs> it's like apoyarse. Okay? Ah. No es así. No es así. No es así. Pero... Rely es confiar porque te apoyas. Entonces, alguien que es reliable significa que es confiable porque puedes apoyarte en él. Tiene una connotación de apoyarse. ¿Ok? Entonces, acá dice, you shouldn't rely, no deberías basarte, apoyarte en, eh, conf confiar en esos pensamientos para emitir un juicio, algo así. Vamos a escucharlo y verlo ahora, ¿ok? Porque no sé por qué paró así tan rápido. English, baby. Hey, Brian. I've just had a really bad day. A friend of mine, somebody was stereotyping her, and I, I feel really bad for her. It's just so unfair. Yeah, it's really hard when people just generalize you based on your background or the way you look. You never think about it, but it goes both ways, that judgment. I had a friend who really liked me because I was Asian, but he didn't really know who I was. He just thought that was a fun thing. Mm -hmm. So he didn't like, dig deeper no. and get to know you. And he was trying to be positive about the stereotype, but mm -hmm. at the same time, he was just characterizing me as someone else. Oh, I never thought about that. Actually, people rely way too heavily on stereotypes. Yeah, it's this preconceived notion that get stuck in their head. And generalizing is just not a good thing. Really just getting to know people is way more important than just assuming. Well, I agree. Because you know what they say about assuming? Yes. It makes an ass out of you and me. Uh-huh. It may... Wow, it's very rude. <laughs> How? Pardon me? Okay, good, 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 good. I like this. I like the, the way they speak because they sound very natural, like a normal conversation, right? Okay, Kelly is going to be Graciela and Brian, Sofia. Hasta por acá, y de ahí cambiamos, okay? Okay. Hey, Brian, I just had a really bad day. A friend of mine, somebody was stereotyping her, and I feel really bad for her. It's just so unfair. Yeah, it's really hard when people just generalize, generalize you based on your background or the way you look. You never think about it, but it goes, but it goes both ways, that judgment. I had a friend who really liked me because I was Asian, but he didn't really know who I why was he he just thought that was a fun thing so he didn't dig deeper and get to know you no and he was trying to be positive about this stereotype but at the same time he was just characterizing me as someone else stop 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 kelly uh, you um lucia and uh, uh, Graciela Bryan. Okay. Uh, but después de characterizing... Someone else, yes. Kelly empieza. Oh, oh, I never thought about that. Actually, people react to way too Re heavily on... Rely, rely. Rely. Uh-huh. Yes, it's those preconceived notions that get stuck in their head. 
and generalizing is not is just not a good thing. Really, just getting to know people is way more important than just assuming. I agree. Because you know what they say about assuming. Yes. It makes an ass out of you and me. Okay. Assuming. Assuming. I think it's a word. It's it a makes an ass. An ass. An ass. An ass. An ass. So I look at it's it's a, it's a game of words and sounds because if you say as you mean as uh, you mean okay it makes an as out of you and me it's like a word is a, a game of words right as you mean okay making eh, an as of you and me <laughs> okay it's okay. like a yeah okay uh, dig deeper what is the meaning of dig deeper Ver más profundo. yes and you you click there you you can click there see and it goes try hard to understand someone or something cavar más profundo pero en este sentido es de averiguar más Okay, get to know, become familiar, learn about, okay, el resto lo sabemos, no? Okay, yeah. bien, fíjense acá como people rely way too heavily on stereotypes, la gente descansa, sí, se apoya, se apoya, demasiado pesadamente, es decir, pone demasiado su confianza, su opinión en estereotipos, ¿ya? Ok. Eh, otra partecita que la encontré por acá que quería ver. Wait, wait, wait. If you find something, please tell me. No, I think that's that's good. Okay. Okay, now let's read the discussion. Okay. Uh, Sophie. Uh, Kelly is sad because her friend was the victim of a stereotype. She thinks it's important to dig deeper into people's lives and to get to know them. She doesn't like what, that people rely so heavily on stereotypes. Very Brain, good. Graciela. Brian doesn't, Graciela, no. Graciela. Brian doesn't like it when people generalize others just because of the way they look. He knew a person who only liked him because he's Asian. Brian thinks getting to know people is much better than assuming things about them. Lucia? Have you been stere stereotyped? What, what are some unfair stereotypes about people in your country? Okay. Have you ever, te comiste la palabra ever, have you ever oh. been, uh, have you ever been a stereotype? Okay. Do you think that you maybe once have you ever been a stereotype lucia maybe because uh, it may sound a little silly uh -huh. that uh, maybe because uh, i i study a lot and all of that and mm. and like in my class they say to me i you are a nerd or a bookworm and, um, I don't know that I spend all day uh, uh, studying and yeah. um, my life is about, it, it's about that and I'm a yeah. boring okay boring like person. social like social nothing right you know social only study yeah does it Something does like it that. matter does it matter for you mm, sometimes I think it depends 
in the way they say it, maybe sometimes it's funny. Ah, ha, ha, yeah. Mm -hmm. but, no, it doesn't hurt me. Okay. Okay, very good. And what are some unfair stereotypes about people in your country, Graciela, Sophie? Uh, well, probably like the common ones because of um, uh, one's uh, weight, weight, uh, or, yes. Um, yeah. um, fat people, clothes. fat people, yes. Uh huh. Clothes yeah, like um for the clothes like um that uh, the like ah uh, the social status uh -huh. probably yeah like uh, you don't shush the same or you don't um make friends with someone that seems to be from a lower class than if if someone from a high high That's class right. or upper That's class right. and yeah, like also, where you live. Yeah, for, from yeah. where you live, yeah. Sometimes even the type and of your also, car. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. And I think um, also um, we, as a country, um, a stereotype, for example, uh, immigrants who are, for example, you don't treat the same an immigrant who is from uh, Bolivia than one that is from... Uh, uh, you know, like friends or um, from Europe. I mean, right. you treat them completely, uh, like in a completely different way. Yes. Yes. We do that. I mean. Yeah. Yeah. We as a community, not we mean you and me, right? Yes. Okay. Yes, yes. Okay, let's go to the quiz because I want to finish. We are going to go and sleep and eat dinner. <laughs> okay, Gracielita, you start. Read the question and you have tried to answer. Okay, who was a stereotype in the story? Kelly, Kelly's friends, Brian, both. For me, Kelly's friends. Mm -hmm. Okay. Let's see, let's see. Sophia, number two. Kelly, Kelly thinks we should and get to know people. Dig deeper, stereotype, preconceived notion, and assume. Um, I think it was um, dig deeper, dig deep. Let's see. I'm not sure. <laughs> Lucia. Stereotype most closely means Try to hard be a bad person. Widely, wide, widely believe I believe idea. Get to know. Ah, uh, stereotype. Uh, the third one. Widely yes. believed idea. Yes. Okay. And the three of you. Which sentence uses a gerund? The third. The third, yes. Mm -hmm. And what is the difference between this and this? Uh, lots. Okay. I don't know. <laughs> Let's I see. think the I and she. Okay, wait. Because it says germs and infinitives, okay? Uh -huh. uh, Kelly doesn't like what I said, talking, generalizing, uses, okay. And generalizing is not a good thing. He, she uses a gerund, okay. Generalizing is not a good thing. Gerunds and infinitive are both, both verbal forms that I don't act as nouns. Gerunds end with ing, such as swimming, walking. Infinitive, okay. In this case, the gerund, okay, it's not when you say casando o disfrutando, sino cuando lo has convertido en un sustantivo. Vamos a ver cuál convertimos en sustantivo. She loves reading o Sandy is singing a song. ¿Cuál convertí en sustantivo? Love reading. Really? Pareciera, yeah. porque es la acción de esto. Vamos a ver qué nos dice. Esto es lo que, ojo que para mí no es totalmente segura, ¿eh? no estoy 100% segura. Vamos a submit y ver qué nos dice. 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, I did it. Oh. Oh, o sea que, ah, Brian también cuando dice que lo, lo de, de, eh, por ser asiático creían que él era re simpático. Yeah. Tiene yeah. razón. Both, two and three, era Brian también. ¿Les gustó, chicas? Did you like this eh, activity? Yes, I like it. Yes. Fíjense, el nivel yes. de inglés es bueno, no es exigidísimo, se entiende y tiene palabras nuevas. Todos los días, every day, en este lugar que se llama Ego, porque es E-G-O, for you, escriban, Ego, el 4 y la U. No sé si lo alcanzan a ver, está chiquitito acá arriba. Ego, for you.com, ¿ok? Entonces, ahí entran, van a ver esta página. ¿Ya? Y en Daily English hacen clic y todos los días se va a actualizar una nueva lección acá. Sí. Cambia. Hay una nueva lección que tiene vocabulario, diálogo, discusión. There's also, I'm, I'm on the page now, and it's also like a vocabulary app from, I think, the, say, the, the page. Yes. That is, yep. Yes. It's called Lingolia Daily. Oh, good. Maybe this one here, uno de estos de acá, puede ser eso. ¿Qué dices vos? Pero encontraste igual esta parte, ¿no? Yep. Sí, sí. Uh, ok. Fíjense see. otras cosas que encontré que son buenas. Encontré de test muy bueno acá. Pruebitas, ¿ya? Y luego, en literature no vi, pero yo creo que te dejan ver libros acá. Está bueno. Tienes cositas de business también, jueguitos. Okay. Me pareció interesante. Solamente he, me he metido más en daily English. Okay. Highly recommend. La recomiendo mucho. Bueno, chicos, las dejo ir. How, how did you feel today? Was it a little bit less boring? Was, for me, last classes were not boring at all, were difficult. Uh -huh. <laughs> the highest listening for me is mm, very is hard, difficult. but yes. as I told you, I, I want to get out of the control zone to uh -huh. improve. Yes, okay, that's good, that's good. And for you girls? Uh, it was okay. It was okay. Uh, yeah, it was fun. Okay, Sophie, could you handle a little bit more this one? Yeah, I prefer, I mean, I, I prefer these kind of classes, but I know I have to do that. Yes, yes, more IELTS numbers, yes, we have to practice, yes. Well, we are going to switch, switch, you know, from one activity to another, yes, and try to, to continue. <laughs> okay. Thanks so much. Bye. Bye, bye, bye. See you and enjoy the bye, week. Kathy. <laughs> bye, Kathy. Bye, Bye, girl. Bye. Bye, bye, Sofia. Bye. Thank you.